Are you alright? I don't know. I don't know. You've been having these panic attacks a lot lately. Sometimes you stop breathing altogether. It scares me. I think you should see a doctor. It's not that. I just had a dream. The longest, strangest dream. Was I in it? Yeah. Only we weren't married. You were a attitudinal fundamentalist rock star from the 1970s. <laughs> from the 70s? Uh -huh. Was I hot? How could you even ask? <laughs> Whoa, cowboy. It's Saturday. Uh, it's Thanksgiving. We've got work to do. Saturday? Oh, my God, I haven't thought about Saturday in forever. Yeah, but don't get too cozy. Sam and his new girlfriend are due at 2 o'clock sharp. But I think there's time for you to bring me breakfast in bed. Your wish is my command. You okay? The temperature just dropped. Didn't you feel that? It's like the Arctic in here. What's the thermostat setting? I don't know. I feel fine. Well, that's just because I heated you up. Oh, and I leave you cold. Is that it? Mm-hmm. My frigid wife. Oh, watch it, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> At breakfast, but be magnificent. Mm. <clears throat>
can help us to reach him? Vitality is quite disturbed. Bill is her father and she can't yet reestablish a link to his universe. She believes he is a casualty of war. What about the loot device Brick is trying to activate? Maybe that can reach him. Please find out, Arlo. Time is now of the essence. I'll be back. I don't remember a lot, but these things, they're ours, aren't they? You tried to help me with that once. It seemed like an eternity ago. And these are our belongings. How can they be here? I mean, we're in a different quantum reality now, aren't we? Can we talk? The way you look at me, we're more than just casual acquaintances, aren't we? You can say that. You really don't remember, do you? I remember a lot of things. My scripture, for one. I could tell you all about my family, and I seem to know some things about our history as a group, but it's like I'm reading it in a book or seeing it through someone else's eyes. Still, I'm remembering more and more. I'm your husband. Or, I mean, I was your husband. It's complicated. I wish I could remember. I'm sorry. When you look at my face, do you see anything familiar? You do have a kind face, I suppose. It's nice of you to say, but I don't. I'm not a kind man. For some reason, though, you fell in love with me once. Listen, I don't know what you're expecting. I don't know if I'll ever remember. Just know that I'm here for you. All right? Thanks. What about Bill? me that he's a scientist, that he invented smart houses. Is there more? Where we come from, you cheated on me. With him. Oh. He's married, you know. With kids. It's the kind of man he is. Kind of man he was. Always taking advantage of the situation. But I forgive you, Astrid. You're trying to make me feel guilty for doing something I don't even remember? I just felt we deserved to know the truth. Funny, I have all my mother jewelry, but there's no wedding ring. Huh? My finger. There's no ring, and it doesn't look like there ever was one. We were married in the smart house. We didn't exchange rings. Oh. Or maybe when Barlow manifested, he forgot. <laughs> nice try, Travis, but you're the one trying to take advantage now. I may not have all my memories yet. But I wasn't born yesterday to you. Technically, that may not be true. What was it? Samantha. The flight from L.A. was delayed, but she'll still be here in time for Thanksgiving dinner. I can't wait to see her. Hey, do you think she'll bring her little boy? William? William. Right. How could I forget? Do I look old enough to have a grandson? I don't feel old enough to have a grandson. It's weird. You're a weird old man. Did you finish your chores yet? Actually, I was just about to sit down and read the newspaper. I want to know what's going on in the world. I feel cut off. Well, suit yourself. Just get your pretty ass in gear by two. I don't want to be alone with Sam. You like Sam. I tolerate Sam. Big difference. Me? Poison ivy again. The calamines in the upstairs medicine cabinet. Honestly, how many times do I have to tell you to wear gloves when you're gardening? Right. I guess I forgot. Again. Your kids don't call you the absent-minded professor for nothing. I guess not. You alright? It's freezing. It's so cold in here. I'm definitely going to make you an appointment with the doctor. No. No, I I'll be fine. It's fine.
what are you doing? I can't access the control panel. Have you tried the mnemonic device? Yes, yeah, Zippo. Some tried old strip in the book now. What's that? I'm going to force it. The house might be in lockdown mode, Sergeant. I've seen it before. The boxes laying around, those are supplies for the users. The house must be sensing some danger that it's trying to protect itself and us from. Yeah, well, I don't have time to play hide and seek with stubborn smart houses. I have a timetable to keep. Get out of here. One, three. One, two. I'm gonna try that again. You think? The alarm here doesn't seem as friendly as vitality. She'd never do something like that to us. I have been to a dozen smart houses, buddy. I have never had one use for target practice. It's not happening again. Just be careful. I wouldn't want to see you get killed again. You don't need to go. Something about that song, I had to hear it. I didn't mean to bother you. No. Oh, just relax. Everything's fine. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. In your home with your wife. So, mm. the song, what's it about? Your favorite story, The Odyssey. A man lost at sea trying to get home. That particular verse was about the sirens. Man. What year is it? 2009? Why? I don't know. Tell me. I just feel so strange. Like I'm still not completely awake. And, and I feel like I've forgotten something important. That dream I told you about? The one where I was from the 70s? I feel like that's my real life, and this is the dream. Does that make sense? The doctor said those kinds of feelings are to be expected. You served in the war for a long time. There are bound to be moments here that feel less real to you after such a heightened experience. I don't understand it, but my normal life just isn't normal. Am I nuts? Are you married to a crazy person? Well, of course I am. But that's not what makes you crazy. Do you want to see Catherine again? I always thought you'd stop therapy too soon. I don't need to go back to therapy. I'm fine. Are we okay? Never better. Now, go straighten up the deck. Sam will never let you live it down if he shows up in the place as a mess. I'm just going to go get a sweater. Anything? We're still unable to reach Bill. Vitality and I have successfully reestablished a bridge to his universe, but he still must meet us halfway. Can he do that? I fear not. When last I left him, Bill was unable to look inward and conquer his demons. Is there anything I can do? There is, though I'm reluctant to ask. Bill's my friend. Let me help. 
You have obviously developed powerful abilities, Arlo. Teleporting us, rescuing Astrid and Vitality, manifesting Astrid's body, the clock. And I just knew what I had to do and I did it. But I'm not sure I could do it again. I, I just wish I understood it all better. I may have a chance of reaching Bill, of extending the bridge back to him, if I had ready access to your strength. If I could add your abilities to my own, to Vitality's. A mental link. Precisely. Like the one I once shared with Astrid, only considerably more intimate. More intimate? Yes. We must act as one mind, one organism. All individual barriers must be stripped away. So you know all my thoughts? Yes. And you mine. Is that a problem? about you aren't exactly friendly. Not friendly? I mean, not strictly limited to friendship. I see. There is no cause for embarrassment. Easy for you to say. Remember, I have a very vivid imagination. I appreciate your imagination, Otto. I've told you that before. Yeah, well, you might want to reserve judgment. I am aware of your feelings for me, Arlo. I am aware that you are physically attracted to me. How old are you? Eighteen. Why? I was merely reflecting that I've learned so much from you, despite your relative youth. It is most curious to me. You have no need to fear revealing your innermost feelings for me, Arla. To an extent, I share them. You mean, you feel... When I believed I had lost you, Arla, I felt a swirl of emotions. I was no longer in control of my mind or body. I felt at a loss. And yet at the same time, I felt alive in a way that I had not experienced for many years, except for the incident with the mirror. Rationally, I know this is because, as Bill would no doubt tell me, I was acknowledging my emotions, not suppressing them. I've come to believe that a relationship with you could awaken certain aspects of my identity that I've neglected. I never knew you felt that way. Least of all about me. Since arriving at the house at the end of the universe, I've remained disciplined. I took on one mission, then another, to become liaison to vitality. Now I wonder if my focus hasn't been misguided. It is my deepest desire now not to isolate myself from humanity, but to connect meaningfully to it, to you, to the others. I seem to learn most about myself when I am embracing not controlling my emotions. I've never really had a girlfriend before. I've always been sort of out of step with that world. I have never been in a romantic relationship either. As you know, my training took me away from my family and friends when I was your age. Perhaps this is mutually advantageous terrain to explore. But the link. I'll do it. Uh, what do I do? Initiate contact with me in a manner of your choice. So, uh, where's this mysterious new girlfriend I've heard so much about? Don't tell me she's just a figment of your imagination. She's on her way, and she's hot. Uh, I never dated her, did I? Shut up. Francis, man. How nice to see you. Good to see you. You look lovely. Can we get you guys both a beer? That sounds good. Make mine a big one, please. <laughs> so, uh, she's not going to burn the turkey, can she? <laughs> hey, the place looks nice. Have you repainted? Are you here? Cold, Sam. I think there's something wrong with the thermostat. Thanks, so. No. I feel fine. You don't look so good. You look tired. In fact, 
look terrible. Bro. Are you in the mood for a heavy conversation? Sure. What, what is it? Trouble in paradise? It's weird, Sam. Part of me is completely content here, at peace. And then there's this, this other thing. This little voice in the back of my head telling me that somewhere something is wrong. And I just don't understand it. Well, makes sense. I mean, you've had a lot of changes in your life, right? Retiring from the DOD, handing over your project, your baby, to me. Uh, you know, you've never really been the same since the battle. Maybe that's it. You know, I look around at my life here and it's, it's everything I would ever want it to be. I have a beautiful, loving wife who just happens to be my very best friend. The children are doing well. We have a comfortable home. We want for nothing. Porn. Porn. It's the seven-year itch. That's what internet porn is for. Porn. 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 That's what you got. That's what I got. Teresa, you made it! Bill, this is Teresa, my uh, former student and now exclusive concubine. Bill Clark, I found you. You? What are you doing here? Cute, isn't she? Like another beer, Sam? Sure. What's a holiday without a drunk up? Why did you hit me? To snap you out of your little box. You realize this world is nothing but a quantum mirage, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. This is my home. You're the mirage. On the contrary. This is but a vision created by the house at the end of the universe. Or what's left of the house at the end of the universe. No, that's ludicrous. The vision was designed to keep you right here, as an available energy source. You've been seduced by a hallucination. The house at the end of the universe? You, Arlo, Travis? All of that is just a dream. This is my real life. I'm finally back home. No. The house is fighting entropy, Bill. The process whereby usable energy is degraded. As you yourself are being degraded. Look at yourself, Bill. Poison Ivy. It's Poison Ivy. May said so. It's the first and second laws of thermodynamics in practice, Bill. On the Earth, the sun showers us with energy constantly. But in a closed system, like this one, the process of cannibalization begins. That's what's happening to you now. You're being eaten alive. You have very little time. No. No. All of that is just a nightmare. A terrible nightmare. I've forgotten it all already. Are you cold, Bill? Finding yourself unable to keep warm? You're a scientist. Diagnose the problem. I've got a bug. I've been feeling under the weather. May says it's the war that I'm... No, Bill. No. Focus. In a closed system, the energy always goes from hot to cold. The life and light from your environment is being bled away. The temperature of the universe is one degree over Kelvin zero, Bill, and that's what this place will ultimately be. Just leave me the hell alone. Propose a toast to Bill and his lovely wife. Sounds good to me. What's the matter, honey? You're not drinking. You feel okay? If you'll excuse me, I need to go to the restroom. Stop following me. Leave me alone. I shall not. Not until you face reality. Can I have a little privacy, please? Unnecessary. You're already alone here, Bill. You are the last person alive in this dimming universe. I'm with my wife, my brother, and my children. I am happy here. Can't you see that? You're lying to yourself. You know this pseudo-existence troubles you. These are not revelations to you. Get out of my head. It's all an illusion, Bill. Sam, Astrid, this house, your clothes, everything. 
Well, if it is, it's preferable, far preferable to the reality. That is also a scientific fact. Now, if you'll excuse me. Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. It's just a bad dream. Mm, another one? I told you not to have that midnight snack. Right. That's what it was? Just an undigested piece of beef or something. I love you. And that's all that matters. Do you mind? Your capacity for self-delusion is more pronounced than I anticipated. You truly are a barbarian, aren't you? I'm a little busy right now, and unless you plan on joining in... I have no desire to encourage your primitive fantasy. It is time for this to end. I'll be the judge of that. Indeed. And as a scientist, you have already done so. You know I speak the truth. You're merely being oppositional. Who? Are you just going to sit there? Indeed. God damn it! Why does this keep happening? I mean, how is it possible? Am I losing my mind? As the energy here fades, you will find it more and more difficult to maintain the integrity of these illusions. Continuity, as you know, it will cease to exist. Even your perfect life here will remain a jungle. You know what, Teresa? You can go back to wherever you came from now. Then you will leave behind this fantasy. No. But I'll tell you something. I know now that you're right. You are absolutely right. This is a fantasy. Everything you've said makes total sense. But I'm still staying. Typical. You are behaving as though an addict, Bill. You are engaging in behaviors that are detrimental to your health. Do you understand that? We all make our own reality every day, Teresa. Who's to say this one's any less valid than another? You are. You are a scientist above all else. You understand, or have the capacity to understand, what's happening to you here. So, remain in this quantum mirage and you shall die. I'd rather die here, in the arms of the woman I love. You know this is the only place we can be together. Yes, but it will not last. So, a moment of happiness here versus a lifetime of pain there, is that the choice you're offering me? Because. You might want to reconsider that. Now go. You've completed your mission. You can tell the others that you tried to save me, but I was too stubborn or primitive or whatever adjective you want. Bill. Go. Anything wrong with you? No. Not a thing. This is where I belong. I know that. I'll always love you, you know, till the end of your days. Will you sing to me? I just want to listen and forget. show it to Teresa. I have a feeling about it. Are you okay? I'm fine. Feeling better, actually. No, I mean, are you okay with me? Ever since we met, you've been avoiding eye contact. I killed you. In that other world, when I was being controlled by the dark matter, I killed you. It's one hell of an icebreaker, lady. Look, I know you're a different person. You're a different Sergeant Brick. But I still remember how it felt to snap your neck. It felt good and bad at the same time. How's that for an icebreaker? Sorry. Are 
Are you alright? I'm sick. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel right. I had another bad dream. Let me help you. No. I, I'll be right back. I thought I told you to leave. Yet here I am. God, you're irritating. Indeed. And you are every bit as much a fundamentalist as Esther. This has nothing to do with religion. You hold your beliefs in such a way that they exclude all other perception. That is, by definition, fundamentalism. It's how you believe, not what you believe. And you are incapable, incapable, of changing. That's why you fashioned this purgatory for yourself. I am not incapable of change. That's cruel. I just don't know what to believe anymore. There's no certainty. The reason you're so hostile to me, though, the reason my beliefs threaten you, is one of control. With science, you have all the answers, or at least the gateway to them. But if you believe in me and my philosophy, you lose your control. Your nature, as a fundamentalist, will not permit you to change. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. I want to change. Do you? Or are you a coward, Bill Clark? Are you so afraid of life, of living, that you would rather hide in the fantasy of your own creation than exist in a world that you don't, that you can't control? All right. Show me the way. A doorway is already open to you, Bill. You have but to walk across it. But you won't, if your need for control won't permit it. You can teach me. I cannot. You must teach yourself. You must pierce the wall of fundamentalism and believe. You must surrender your control once and for all. I don't think I can do that. Remember, Bill, you conceived of the smart house. A house built on the notion that a person's belief can shape his reality. And isn't that different? No. You understand the power of belief. It's part of your science. Everything you believe exists, does exist. Sound familiar? But I... The only question that remains is, what do you want to believe? Honey, you alright? It's freezing. Throat hurts. Feet and arms are numb, heart is racing. It's just the flu. In a few days, this will all be over. That's the first true thing you've said to me here, isn't it? What do you mean? You're a pawn of the machine. Your mission is to keep me here, dying, no matter what. I'm your wife. I love you. But you can't let me go, can you? I love you and will care for you until the end of your days. That's all that matters. The Astrid I knew, the one who really loved me, she wouldn't want me to stay and die. She would want me to go on, to live. Honey, I'm right here. Sam and Samantha and Katie and William were all here. If you leave, you'll never see any of us again. Is that what you want? That is something that I have no control over. What will be, will be. Your fondest dreams, your deepest fantasies, you can shape them all here with me. You can direct the current of this universe until the moment of your death. Can't you see the gift that's been bestowed upon you? Is it so important that it doesn't last forever? Teresa was right. That's the trap here. The illusion of control. Maybe I am. Maybe I... I've got to go. I'm sorry. No, don't leave me. You can't leave me. Our love can grow here until the universe dies. After all, it's the only reality we've got. I'm sorry. Believe me. I don't exist in your world, Bill. You'll never see me again. 
I know. I'll die here alone without you. What about me? Don't you care? I do care. No. It's a trick. It's the dark matter. It's trying to destroy you. It's time for me to go. No. We'll die. Everything here will die without you to sustain us. You're our reason for living. Astrid. Just stay a little longer. The song. I've almost finished it. Let me sing it for you. You don't need to go any further. Look at me. You don't need to search any longer. Look at me. My love. alone, Bill. Completely alone. It was your thoughts and only your thoughts. But you saved me. Sounds like you saved yourself. Then I imagined you. But everything you said, the way you acted, it was so real. Some part of you must have known what you needed to do to survive. I'm honored that, that part would take my form. I believe there's hope for you yet, Bill Clark. Bill, there's something you should know. Astrid. Is she... She lives. But she's not herself. She has significant gaps in her memory. She doesn't remember you. Or Travis. What? Why? When I took Astrid from the dark matter, there were pieces of her that I couldn't reach. I'm sorry. But after you disappeared, Astrid spoke to me. In her own voice, she said... She said she'd see me in hell. Precisely. That part of Astrid, that part that loved you, it went with the entity into oblivion. I'm so sorry. Bill, Astrid is alive. Do you understand? She's alive and healthy. I've lost everything. No, Bill. You have regained the world and more. The rest will come with time. Not holding any grudges, I see. You left me to die. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help you. You know that. This was something you had to figure out by yourself. But you made it. I knew that you could. Never doubted it. Right. Well, I've been thinking about your logic, about your case, and I believe you were right. I am your assassin. And you don't have the presidential safe house around to protect you anymore, do you? So, watch your back. Travis, because I'll sure as hell be watching. Gathering data. Scanned every window in the place. This is the last one, number 24. Wow. That takes. Patience. Yeah. Patience. Well, I am a uh, one step at a time kind of guy. Want to help? Sure, but I don't think it'll do any good. Maybe not. We've got to try, don't we? 